So my skincare routine has 36 products and 45 steps. And the first thing we're gonna start off with is the breast milk of virgins and lather that all over our face. Next, we're gonna use a white blood cell platelet remedy made from pig's blood. <laughs> My skincare is super duper simple. It's not all that. But welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel for those of you guys just now joining for the first time. My name is Demi. Welcome, welcome. And today I'm going to be sharing with you sort of like my skin journey and my skincare routine. So let me first start off by saying I do not buy any celebrity skincare products. TikTok and social media does not fool me one bit when it comes to you need to buy this, you need to buy that for your skin, you need to buy that for your skin, and that for your skin. No, I believe simple is always better. If you think about it, how many celebrities have their own skincare line now? But anyways, I have a lot to say when it comes to skincare and acne. So let me just go ahead and show you my skincare routine first and then I'll just kind of talk to you about my acne journey. Now, one of the biggest things you need to realize is that the FDA will lie to you. Just because something says FDA approved does not mean it's good for your skin. What it needs to be, it needs to be EWG approved. I'll go ahead and link the website down below. If something is EWG approved, that truly means it's not going to cause harm to you or have any long-term side effects. All right, on to my skincare routine. First things first, I always start off with Castile soap. With Castile soap, it doesn't get more organic than this. Honestly, I don't even know why I decided to do a skincare routine video because it's so boring. I literally don't even have like a bunch of products I use. It's honestly like a two to three step process. That's it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face with this now. All right, so face is now washed. Now, this is literally the last step in my routine. So what I do, I simply mix black Jamaican castor oil. I use castor oil on my skin every single day. And I mix it with essential rosemary oil. Rosemary oil has amazing benefits for cell rejuvenation as well as castor oil. People sleep on castor oil. How can you not have castor oil in your routine? Anyway, this is really thick. A little bit does go a long way. And then I simply literally just add a few drops of rosemary oil and then I mix it all together. While you're at it, you might as well give yourself a facial massage. And then once I'm all greased up, the very last step is going to be to take a warm towel and put it on my face. Boom, that's it. That's the end of the video, you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Just kidding. No, but that's seriously my entire skincare routine. I don't use micellar water, whatever it's called. I don't use those face masks you can get at CVS because if you look at the ingredients, it's extremely horrible for you. And I just want to say my skin, or I think people's skin in general will never be 100% perfect. Um, even though my skin has come a long way, I still got a pimple right here. Let me tell you the number one thing that changed my life, and it was not a simple skincare routine. It's actually a supplement I take called DIM. I take this every morning, once a day. Now, let me give you guys the backstory. So I used to have really bad hormonal acne every single time I got my period. I would always break out, especially my chin, every single month. I would break out on my cheeks, my chin, and it would always leave dark spots that wouldn't go away for like six months. And I mean like really dark purple spots. I've tried literally everything from acid trope, I'm not even gonna say the name, 
topical medications as well as laser therapy when in reality laser therapy does work it got rid of the mark but for me i felt like the lasers created like a concave dip in my skin if that makes sense so then i went to a website called apostrophe.com no this video is not sponsored i then had a consultation with an online doctor he had me submit photos of my skin my acne my dark marks um, typically just, you know, just wanting to know the cycle of when I primarily break out. I told him it's hormonal. Every single time I get my period, my skin just breaks out and goes crazy. He then prescribed me with an oral medication called spironolactone, something like that. Now, with that being said, of course your girl does her due diligence before I'm going to take any medication. If you really think about it, doctors only know how to prescribe medication that temporarily solves the issue. And I was looking at all the side effects to Spirona Lactant. I was looking at all the side effects to that, and there were women saying that they lost their libido, their period was heavier and had a lot of cramps. And it's just like, dang, well, I know it's hormonal acne, but I don't want to take anything that's going to affect my hormones in a negative way. I'd rather have hormonal acne than have a more painful period. Like, no, I don't want that. So then with me doing my research and all, I like a holistic, natural way of living. And then I came across DIM, okay? DIM is pretty much cruciferous vegetables. So we're talking kale, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, things like that. DIM is short for a giant word. I obviously don't know it, but this component in the cruciferous vegetables can actually help you regulate your hormones. Now, with that being said, let me just tell you guys, for me, I have estrogen dominance, and because I have estrogen dominance, I need an estrogen sort of stabilizer, if that makes sense. And of course, don't just watch this video and order DIM. I get this from Amazon. Don't do that right away. Obviously, do your own research. And so once I started taking this, you guys, every single time I get my period, I don't break out. Again, my skin will never be perfect. I do have like a, a pimple here, but any marks that are left behind are pink as opposed to like a deep dark purple and the marks only stay on my skin for about two weeks before it just completely goes away as opposed to six months i barely break out because of this right here and with a simple and minimal skin routine and i know you guys skincare routines maintenance vlogs it's so aesthetic do it for the youtube video but the reality is you have to ask yourself is that just pr packages influencers are opening and using or do they actually use that in their day-to-day -day? you want to know something the internet is so stupid please tell me you guys remember i think this was 2014 or 2015 where influencers on youtube were mixing elmer's glue with charcoal saying the best healthiest face mask to get rid of acne and dirt they were literally mixing elmer's glue and charcoal together why on earth are you gonna put elmer's glue on your face and every single influencer seemed to be doing that on youtube don't listen to the internet, people. This is your skin on the line. If you want to preserve your sexy, you obviously gotta take the precautions and the measures in order to do so. Again, you guys, my skin, your skin, nobody's skin will ever be perfect, but I am able to maintain clear skin for the most part, with the exception of this pimple right here, <laughs> um, all because I started taking my DIM supplements and again, using castor oil every single day. Anyways, that's pretty much it, you guys, for this this video I'm so sorry if I bored you to death with my simple minimal skincare routine like my videos are not meant to be aesthetic some videos might be but just how I live my life in day-to-day -day is not aesthetic at all I'm not gonna be that Instagram baddie I'm not gonna be living my life like a Pinterest girl I am just me I am just simply Demi. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That's pretty much it on my end. Let me know in the comments what videos you guys want to see next. And if I haven't already said it, make sure to subscribe because subscribing is free. Bye!